Before starting our read, let's connect the battery maintainer to the car. Open the hood, and in the engine compartment, you will see your jump points to connect your battery maintainer to. Connect as shown. After, click Flash Reprogram, then Charged. Open driver's door. We will need to get access to the driver's side lower dash panel. Plug in your BMW Explorer OBD2 interface. Then take your security dongle, insert it into an open port on your computer, and then connect the other end of the USB from the OBD2 side to your computer. Before we open the software, let's verify a few things. Check to see if your battery is either fully charged or your laptop is plugged into a good source. Also, verify that your internet has a strong connection. Let's open the software. Go ahead and select Setup so that we can identify our OBD2 dongle and our interface. Click Searching and wait a moment for a response. Once our software has found our hardware interface, go ahead and click OK and we can start our communication with the vehicle. Click to add all ECU on the right hand corner. Before communication can be established, it's best to wake up the car. Go ahead and place your foot on the brake pedal. Also, press the start stop button a few times to wake up the network. Then select car access system. Once we have established communication with our CAS4 module, go ahead and click extra options tab and then click on Key Learning. We can now see that we have two used key tracks. For us to write new keys to this CAS, we will need to unlock the module first. So click on Read ISN Secret Key in ECU. If the CAS has not been updated already, click Yes to update. Wait for the CAS to be read and your display to show as shown. After, click Unlock CAS 4. The first step of this process is to back up our coding file. Click Save. After, it will start the process, which takes about 15 minutes to complete. During this process, the BMW Explorer will take control of the ignition. This is normal. Each step usually takes a few minutes to complete. Please wait until it's fully finished. During this process, it's best not to disturb the car by opening or closing the doors, turning on the radio, or any such things. After it successfully completed the process, press OK and close this window out. Wait a few moments and you will see the read ISN and secret key is OK. We can now select our key tracks that we would like to write our new keys to. Select an open key track and click on Write. It will ask you to bring in a new blank key to the coil. Bring the key to the coil like shown. Please hold the key there until the key is written successfully. Our key is programmed OK. Continue to hold your key there until you see the ID being written to the key track. Click close and we will verify our key status. With the key held up to the coil, we will see the key is accepted and authorized for the vehicle, our VIN number, and frequency. To initialize the remote functions and keyless functions, keep the key pressed up against coil and hold the lock button for 10 to 15 seconds. After, your remote features should automatically work. Go ahead and close those windows 
and it's best practice before exiting the vehicle or the cast to clear out any fall codes that might have been set during this process. We have a running vehicle now. That's keys made easy with BMW Explorer. From Russia, 